actually never thought that there'd be a, a jail right beside a high school. It's kind of weird. Um, there was a story about um, people finding dead bodies from like a yeah, long time ago, like dug up like right over that's there. That's why they're doing like that stuff to it. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because uh, they're both government structures. Um, some people might feel like an inmate on both sides of the fence, right? Uh, there's that whole thing about being a student and being kind of held prisoner sometimes. Um, it's also interesting in terms of safety and security that uh, having a school with grade 7 to 12 right next door to, you know, society's offenders um, is probably not the best plan. Uh, my name is Al Booker. I teach at Stratford Central Secondary School and I teach ComTech here at uh, Central. Uh, I'm sort of a site coordinator. I help out getting everything arranged here at Stratford Central and uh, making sure that everything's good for the students from Fanshawe coming down and students from everywhere else kind of rolling in. DocFest is also happening here. The screenings are happening here on the weekend as well. Jail and high school, I kind of think it's an incentive, an incentive for the kids. Kind of, like, you know, if you don't do well here, this is your next stop. You know, it's kind of neat. Uh, kind of works out for them that way. Uh, the fact that they're putting a motor out of it, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I, I, I kind of think, I'm not sure if it's keep our kids out or, or keep the uh, inmates in. My name is Catherine Ritzma. I'm a lawyer in Stratford. I've practiced here for 25 years. The Stratford Central High School has been there for, I think since 1925 at least, um, and the jail's been there that long, so I, I, I don't think anything of it. I'm a long time resident of Stratford. They've always been there. Um, I do know they moved uh, criminals in and out, so certainly the high school students when they're out in the smoking area would see lots of police officers moving prisoners in and out. Um, but other than that, it's always been there. <laughs>